Did you know that 24% of indie games never make back their development costs? A surprising statistic, isn't it? This is a stark reminder of the crucial role marketing plays in the indie game industry. Marketing isn't just about selling a game, it's about communicating your game's unique value to your target audience. It's about creating a connection that transforms casual gamers into devoted fans. So how do you do it? Let's dive into the strategies that can make your indie game stand out in a crowded market. Choosing the right platforms for marketing is like selecting the perfect stage for your performance. You wouldn't launch a Shakespearean play on a pop concert stage, would you? Similarly, promoting your indie game demands a platform that resonates with your target audience. There's a buffet of options out there. Social media platforms like Twitter, Instagram and Facebook can be gold mines if your audience is active there. Gaming forums and communities such as Reddit's R Indie Gaming or Steam's Indie Hub are bustling with potential players. And don't forget streaming platforms. Twitch and YouTube are hotbeds for gamers looking for their next play. The key is understanding where your audience hangs out online. It's about aligning your game with their digital stomping grounds. Only then can you stage a performance that not only draws a crowd, but captivates them too. Remember, the right platform can amplify your message and reach the right people. A press kit is your game's resume, and just like a job applicant, you need to make it stand out. It's a collection of materials that provides the press with essential information about your game. This should include a succinct game description, a list of key features, compelling screenshots and information about the developer. Remember, you are not just selling a game, but a story. Make sure your game description is engaging and captures the unique essence of your experience. Your key features should highlight what sets your game apart from the rest. Screenshots are your visual hook, so choose images that are both striking and representative of your game's aesthetic. Lastly, don't forget to include a developer bio and contact details. This humanizes your game and provides a point of contact for the press. A well-crafted press kit not only grabs attention, but also makes it easier for the press to cover your game. Getting press coverage is like mining for gold. It takes time, effort and the right tools. In the vast landscape of indie game marketing, one of the most valuable resources at your disposal is the press. But how do you find the right journalists and influencers that align with your game? Start by researching. Look for those who have shown interest in similar games or genres. Social media platforms, game forums and industry publications can be gold mines of information. Now, once you have your list of potential contacts, it's time to draft your outreach emails. Personalization is key here. Show them that you've done your homework. Mention a recent article they've written or a game they've reviewed. Make it clear why your game would be of interest to them and their audience. But remember, crafting a compelling email is only half the battle. The timing of your outreach is just as crucial. Try to align your outreach with your game's milestones, be it a launch, a major update, or a significant achievement. And what about follow-ups? It's a delicate balance. You want to remind them about your game, but you don't want to appear pushy. A good rule of thumb is to wait at least a week before sending a polite and brief follow-up. Never underestimate the power of a well-planned press outreach. It can be the game-changer you need. Social media and online communities are the lifeblood of the indie game world. They're the digital playgrounds where gamers congregate, discuss and discover new indie games. Engaging with these communities is crucial. It's not just about dropping links to your game and disappearing. It's about becoming an active participant, contributing to discussions and providing value. This can be as simple as offering advice to other developers or as complex as organizing community events. The goal is to be seen as a genuine member of the community, not just a marketer. Then there's the power of social media platforms. Platforms like Twitter, Instagram and Facebook can be potent tools for promoting your indie game. But remember, each platform has its own unique culture and etiquette. Instagram is all about visual storytelling, while Twitter thrives on conversation and engagement. Tailor your content to each platform's strengths. Now let's talk about self-promotion. It's a delicate balance. You want to get your game in front of as many eyes as possible but you don't want to come off as spammy or insincere. The trick is to weave promotion organically into your interactions. 
Share updates about your game, but also share your process, your inspirations and your challenges. Remember, genuine engagement is key. It's not just about promoting your game, but also about building relationships. Because in the end, it's those relationships that can make all the difference in the world of indie game marketing. Influencers can be your game's best friends. They have the audience you need, and they know how to engage them. Now you may ask, why is influencer marketing crucial for indie games? Well, influencers have the power to amplify your game's exposure like no other. They've built trust with their audience, and their recommendations can directly impact your game's success. Approaching influencers, however, requires a professional touch. Start by understanding their content and audience. Are their followers your game's potential players? If yes, craft a personalized message that shows you've taken the time to know their work. Explain why your game might be a good fit for their content and how it can add value to their audience. Remember, a collaboration should be a win-win situation. Provide influencers with unique content, early access or exclusive in-game items. This not only makes their job easier, but also fosters a fruitful relationship. When done right, influencer collaborations can significantly boost your game's visibility and reach. In the world of marketing, what gets measured gets improved. It's essential to track your marketing efforts to understand what's working and what's not. Look at metrics like download numbers, user engagement, and social media interactions. These numbers give you a story about your game's reach and reception. Use this data to make informed decisions about future campaigns. Maybe you need to tweak your press kit or approach influencers differently. Remember, marketing is not a one-size-fits-all. Always measure, learn and adjust. So there you have it, a comprehensive guide to mastering indie game marketing. We've delved into the importance of choosing the right platforms, crafting compelling press kits and reaching out to the press. Harnessing the power of social media, collaborating with influencers and adjusting your strategies based on metrics are also crucial. We hope you found these insights valuable and we encourage you to apply these strategies in your indie game marketing journey. Now it's your turn. What marketing strategy will you try for your indie game?